Welcome to Lookouts and Waterfalls in the Blue Mountains, Episode 3, Let Our Videos Be Your Guide. In this episode, we visit Hazel Falls, Edith Falls and Mabel Falls. In this episode, we visit for the first time attractions on the northern side of the Great Western Highway. Our first stop is Hazel Falls between Woodford and Hazel. We have followed the M4 motorway from Sydney onto the Great Western Highway. The turn off to Hazel Falls is 29.2 kilometres from the bridge over the Nepean River. If your vehicle has a trip meter, set it to zero as you turn right into Clearview Parade, just before the private Ronald Field footbridge. Then immediately at 64 metres, turn right onto the old Great Western Highway. At 400 metres, turn left into Mount View Avenue. These are the roads we took to get to the start of the walking track. At 1.5 kilometres, stop at the end of the road. The three waterfalls we are visiting today are all on the one track and can be visited from either end. The track is called the Transit of Venus Walk. It is so named because a transit of Venus was observed using a 4.2 inch telescope at Woodford not long after the town was established in the 1870s. We will visit Hazel, Edith and Mabel Falls so we have come to the Mount View Avenue end of the track as the three falls return trip is shorter from this end then from the other end that starts 600 metres along Woodbury Street and accesses Mabel, Edith, then Hazel Falls. The walk to Hazel Falls is almost one kilometre, that's 12 minutes each way. To walk to the three falls and return is 3.4 kilometres. That's 43 minutes without stopping, so be prepared. We'll give you directions as we go. This path is called the L4 Trail and after walking 300 metres we take the track to the right. Apparently these three waterfalls have been popular since the late 1800s. They have. A story in the Sydney Morning Herald on October 1876 reports at a spot in convenient proximity to the railway platform are many beautiful waterfalls hitherto unreserved. The first waterfall is about three quarters of a mile from the platform, bearing nor nor west, and is easy of access. Beneath the first, and only a few chains distant, are two more waterfalls, one of which is about 120 feet in fall. That's 36.6 metres. A small foot track leads to these from the first, down a narrow gorge. The accent is somewhat severe, but the tourist is amply repaid for his toils by viewing two more beautiful falls in deep ravines of tree ferns, rare ferns and plants. In its own character there is nothing more beautiful in the whole of the Blue Mountains than the furthest of the waterfalls to which I am referring. At 680 metres we'll take the track to the left. I like the fact that uh, this is sort of, I would suggest maybe used as a fire trail. It's wide enough. It certainly is. Well this is the L4 so I dare say it is. It's bumpy though. <laughs> okay we have come to another intersection. When we come back we'll come up that way 
and that will make the trip back a lot shorter. Yep, good. Like that idea. At 740 metres, take the track to the right. It should be marked Hazel Falls walking track. Now we have to go up again. We have signposts ahead. We should stop for a minute and read it. Okay, this, this is where we go down. under the rock shelf. I can hear water. At 940 metres, Hazel Falls is reached. Just showing you some of the rock formation. And now I'm under the falls. The greenery here is oh amazing. God. Tell me, good sir, what are we looking at here? This is Hazel Falls. Hazel Falls. Can you remind me why did Hazel Falls become so known? It was originally called Fairy Falls. Fairy Falls. Okay. But it was found there was a Fairy Falls in Lawson. Oh, so in 1969 it was renamed. Mm -hmm. Beautiful spot. Recommended for anyone that's got a lazy hour to spend, come down walking down. Very good. Well, out of all the waterfalls we've seen so far, and that hasn't been too many, this is the nicest one so far. Nice flow of water over it and a view from underneath. What do you think, Jeff? I am rather impressed. The, the ambience here is r really spectacular, worthwhile coming down and bring a picnic lunch, sit underneath the rocks. Yeah, very nice. For our second location today, we will visit Edith Falls. An additional eight minute walk. As you can see, Hazel Falls is 30 metres from this intersection behind me. We've just been there. Today we are documenting the walk to Edith Falls from Hazel Falls. Another way is to walk there via Mabel Falls along the Mabel Falls walking track. Driving directions to the start of each walk can be found at the end of this episode. From Hazel Falls, it's a 650 metre walk where the track to the right takes us another 30 metres to Edith Falls. The actual flora around here, it's one of the best areas I think for, to actually see the wild abundance of Australian native landscape. Yeah, I like it. It's very nice and cool and calming. Why people do a lot of bushwalks around here. Apart from the um, the falls, there's that little creek we walked by was um, bereft of any indication that there's been water in it for a long time. Nice little valley. Beautiful, actually. This is uh, quite a nice uh, bushwalk through here. Nice little bridge. Another little creek bereft of water. 
Now we're going up. Why couldn't it have just been nice and level? Do you like this? A little boardwalk. Nice little ascent. They said there's fallen trees on this track. The Rolling Stones would be proud. I'm glad Google said this is mostly flat. I don't think Google knows what it's talking about. How do these falls get their names, Graham? To understand how Edith and Mabel Falls got their names, we must go back to 1855, after the area was named Twenty Mile Hollow by surveyors Major Mitchell and William Govett, to when William Buss became the new owner of a roadside inn called the King's Arms on the Great Western Road that became known as Buss's Inn. In 1868, Alfred Fairfax, a cousin of Sir James Fairfax of the Sydney Morning Herald, purchased Buss's Inn and although the inn initially followed his former use, Fairfax later used it as a residence and renamed it Woodford House. A year later, in 1869, Fairfax secured his own train platform opposite his house. It was called Woodford and Edith Falls and Mabel Falls were named after Alfred Fairfax's daughters. It's hard to see, but there's another overhanging rock here that we shall walk under. They haven't cut very good steps in this path. I think I'll leave that bit for you. You're going to be standing there for a while. Is that old sand you're walking on? Yeah. Lovely beach sand. A lot more iron oxide coming out of the uh, rocks here, as we've seen before. Yeah, I can see the, although it's dappled, I can see the, the oxide. Graham, I think for Edith Falls, it's well worth the walk down here. The, the actual ambience is rather stunning with the sound of the water coming down and hitting the rocks as it cascades to the bottom. As I say, it's well worth a little walk to get here. Yeah, the iron oxide is bleached out of the ironstone that's also in the area. It must be quite prolific. For our third location today, we will visit Mabel Falls, another eight minutes walk. As I said earlier, you can reach Mabel Falls from the Mabel Falls walking track that starts 600 metres along Woodford Street and is about an eight minute walk from the road. where we cross the L4 again.
Going down. This has all been manicured. Stop erosion and so forth. Hmm. Very picturesque walking around here. Again, I can hear water. The ferns look nice hanging out of the different uh, clefts in the, in the rock face. Yes, they do. Go for a swim here. Got your, got your swimmers with you? We visited three places today, Hazel Falls, Edith Falls and Mabel Falls. You don't have to do all those in one day. Take your time and fully enjoy the outdoors, the fresh air, the sunshine, the wonderful vistas and most of all stay safe by familiarising yourself with our safety instructions at the end of this video. In our next episode we drive to Hazelbrook to visit three more great waterfalls. See you then. Bye. Bye for now. Whatever way you discover the Blue Mountains, we want you to have a safe and enjoyable experience. Whether you drive, catch public transport, or cycle to the destinations we visit here, some walking is necessary. The walks are usually short, but can contrast greatly, so you need to be aware of the risks. Have a safe and enjoyable sightseeing experience at these lookouts and waterfalls. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be alerted when next we visit the Blue Mountains.